Hey, what's up, guys? This is BNB and a new tutorial. All the same, again, we are here to create an amazing project, and this time it's about another robot. Back into our previous one, it was the Lion Follower robot Picto 92. It was a super amazing robot, so if you want to watch the full project video, do not miss the link in the description down below. But for today, as you saw in the intro of this video, we will make a spider bot or a spider robot. So let's start with some project info. Searching in the internet, all around the web stores, I've noticed how much expensive to buy a spider bot. This is the main reason why I've chosen to create my own one and provide for you, my dear followers, this step-by-step -step guidance in the case you want to try making this kind of projects. This is a short description about the project and how it works. I will make an Arduino-based system to drive the robot motors, which are a servo motors. Actually, this robot will not make exactly the spider movements because it has only four legs. We all know how much expensive are the servo motors and also driving more than 12 motors will be a bit complicated with an Arduino Nano. That's why I've chosen to make a quadrupod robot instead of a exapod one. So as I said, I will use a nano dev board to drive each robot leg. And for each leg, we have three joints, coxa, femur, and tibiae. And in each joint, we will place a servo motor to get three servos per leg and 12 servos for the whole body. In order to introduce more fun, I will use an OLED screen to display the Cosmo robot faces and some RGB LEDs for more lighting animation. In order to control the robot, I've created an Android app that allows me to connect to my robot through a Bluetooth module and make a forward and backward movements, also turning left and right, without forgetting the LED color control. The first step in the hardware part is preparing the right schematic for all the electronic components. So I've made this one that you can download from the link in the description down below. All legs will be controlled by the Arduino Nano and also the OLED display and the RGB LEDs. Do not forget to place the Bluetooth connector and a separated DC power supply source for the servos. The next step is turning this schematic into a PCB to produce it later. So I've made this also for you guys with this customized PCB design that suits the project theme. And I've placed an order to get this PCB from GLC PCB, which provides the cheapest price to produce this PCB. And the best quality that you can see over here, only 5 days after placing the order and the PCBs are in my door. As you see, the PCBs are very well produced and I've got all the levels and the spider shape design that I've made is super clear and well made. Now let's review the necessary components that we need for this project. I need a PCB that I've ordered from GLC PCB, 12 servo motors, as you remember, 3 servos for each leg, 1 Arduino Nano, HC06 Bluetooth module, OLED display, 5mm RGB LEDs, some heater connectors, and the robot body pieces that we will print them using the 3D printer. So as I've said, this project contains some 3D printed parts, which are the robot joints holders and the robot chassis. And you can get the STL files for this design from the link in the description down below. Now everything is ready, so let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB. And to do so, we need a soldering iron and a solder cover wire. As you can see, using this PCB is so easy due to its very high quality making, 
And without forgetting the levels that will guide you guys while soldering each component, because you will find on the top set layer a level of each component indicating its placement on the board. And this way you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. I've soldered each component to its placement and you can use both sides of this PCB to solder your electronic components. And I'm telling you this because I've used the bottom layer of this PCB to solder my RGB LEDs. And this way, the robot will play on some beautiful colors from its downside. Now we have the PCB ready and all the components soldered very well. After that, we need to assemble the robot body. The procedure is so easy, so just follow the steps that I show. We need first to prepare each leg aside, and to make one leg, we need two servo motors for the joints and the Coxa Femur and TBA printed parts with this small attached part. Starting with the first servo, place it in its socket and hold it with screws. After that, Turn the servo wax to 180 degrees without placing the screw for the attaches. And move to the next part, which is the femur, to connect it to the TBA using the first servo joint axe and the attach piece. The last step to complete the leg is placing the second joint, I mean the second servo, to hold the third part of the leg which is the coxa piece. Now repeat the same thing for all legs to get four legs done ready. After that, take the upper chassis and place the rest of servos in them sockets and then connect each leg to the appropriate servo. There is only one last printed part which is the bottom robot chassis and where we will place our circuit board, so let's get back to it. In order to test the board, I've placed this 7V DC battery to power on the system. By the way, I will use this battery to run the robot because it requires at least 2 amps to start on. As you can see, the Nano turns on and so the Bluetooth module. Now we take the last piece and screw it to the robot upper chassis but do not forget to connect each servo to the appropriate connector starting from servo 1 which is the femur servo of the first leg, then servo 2 coxa servo and servo 3 tibia servo. Now we have the robot almost ready to run but we need to set up the joints angles first. So upload the setup code which allows you to put each servo in the right position by attaching the servos at 90 degrees. Next we need to upload the main program to control the robot using the Android app. Both programs, you can download them from the links down below. And it's the same for the Android app, you can get it from for free from the link in the description of this video. Talking about the Android app, it allows you to connect to your robot through Bluetooth and make forward and backward movements and left-right turnings. It allows you also to control the robot light color in real time by picking the desired color from this color wheel. Now let's run the robot and see how it moves. Thank you. 
Choose a device to connect your application. As you can see guys, the robot follow all the instructions sent from my smartphone and still some other improvements to perform in order to make it much more better. That's why I will be waiting for your suggestions to improve this robot. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.